Good day, world, and welcome to another installment of Striving Young Professionals. My name is Henri Lassane, and I am, of course, a Striving Young Professional. Welcome back, family. Welcome back, family. Welcome back. I know you guys miss me. I miss you guys also. As I stated earlier, my blogs won't be on a daily basis, uh, but they still will be consistent, and I will still have them on a weekly basis, and they will be about one to two videos a week just to provide you with some motivation and some inspiration for the week. Because I have landed a great and awesome experience and deal with a marketing company that has asked me to produce and lead their training sessions. Uh, it is for personal development and professional development. So I'm very excited about this opportunity. So that is requiring some of my time, which will not allow me to do these videos on a daily basis. However, I still will have the same quality. I still will have the same uh, consistency and I still will have the same passion and fervence with every single video so thank you for staying with me family thank you for staying with me world I do appreciate it and I still will be with you providing you motivation and inspiration as always so with that in mind let's get right into today's quote it's a quote by Henry Ford uh, most of us are pretty familiar with uh, with him if not all of us and the quote is don't find fault find a remedy Again, the quote is, don't find fault, find a remedy. So often um, from our perspective and just the way the world is presented to us, we're so easily to find the negative in every situation. And then anytime we try to be uh, positive about things or we try to be optimistic, people feel like we're being naive. People are feeling like we're not being realistic. People are feeling like we're not uh, really pursuing life in a realistic standpoint but I'm telling you all that's doing is teaching you to find fault all that's doing is teaching you to find the negative in every situation and I'm here to encourage you world to not always look at fault be optimistic because when you're optimistic you find remedies when you're optimistic you find solutions to the problem so let's be solution oriented world let's be people who not say hey I'm tired of my situation let's be let's be people to say how do I figure out how to get out of my situation let's not be people that say man I wish I wasn't in this relationship let's be the people that say hey I want to find a remedy to this relationship and if the remedy for this relationship is for me to not be in it then so be it uh, let's not be the people to say, I wish I could live more for my God. I wish I can have better faith in my life. Let's be the people to say, how do I find more faith? How do I find a better relationship with my God? What are the resources that I need to go to? How do I seek guidance for these type of things? Let's not say, I wish I could have my own business and find the problem. Let's find the remedy world and say, who do I need to speak to? Where do I find a mentor? Where do I find guide guidance? And how do I figure out the first step needed to start my own business so I'm telling you well just as Henry Ford says I'm echoing it let's not find fault let's find remedy remedy gives us solutions and if we are a solution oriented world then we are a producing world we are a result producing world so let's uh, I heard a, a, a quote that said hey we can either be people of results or we could be people of excuses and I feel like finding faults is just finding excuses because as logical faults may be or as uh, 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 realistic as faults may be they don't provide a solution they don't provide a way out they don't provide a better system it's just finding the mess and staying in the mess so let's not be people that find mess and stay in mess but let's people that let's be people that find mess and have solutions towards the mess so it's a very simple quote guys but I think it's a very powerful and effective quote and I hope that this video motivates you and inspires you on this day to not be a person to always look at things negatively but to look at it in a way of finding remedies I used to be a negative person. I usually I used to view world in a very negative manner because in my past I had a lot of negative things surrounding me and there was just a lot of negative energy. Well I found out if the more and more I embraced that energy, the more and more I became that type of energy and the more and more I outputted that energy. So then I just became a negative person with a negative outlook on life and all I could ever do in any situation was find fault. And no matter what it was, no matter how simple, no matter how complex the situation was, I found some way to find fault in it and it used to be funny to me until I realized and another friend of mine had to point out to me, why do you always see the bad side of everything? Don't you know that once you put that energy out, that's the energy that you're going to receive for the rest of your life and that's the circle that you're perpetuating. And I really had to come to grips with myself and be honest with myself and say, man, you know, negative things are constantly around me because I'm constantly outputting negativity. That is what the beauty of remedies do. Remedy 
the, the, the idea or the philosophy of finding a remedy in a situation allows you to have a better outlook on life and a better positive attitude on life. And it's not that you don't know that things are negative. It's not that you're naively thinking that nothing bad is ever going to happen in life. It's just that you know that when you are confronted with negativity, that you will combat it with remedy and positive attitude. And when you combat it with positive attitude and a positive energy, then that's the cycle that you perpetuate. So let's be about it, family. Let's be about positivity. Let's be about remedies. And let's not be people that always find fault in a situation, but let's be people that find the remedy in it. I knew that in my life that I did not want a traditional 9 to 5 system. And I could have sat and, and stayed in that and said, I have a problem. This is the fault. I'm in a 9 to 5 system. I hate it. I hate people telling me when I can take lunch. I hate people telling me when I can leave. I hate people telling me what to do with my time. I hate when someone, I have to seek permission to spend time with my family or to do something special just for me. I hate that. But I didn't say, oh, well, this is the fault and nothing else. I sought after a remedy. I sought after a way to get out. For the better and I found the positive in that and as a result I was able to produce the things that I've been able to produce so I thank you so much world for staying with me um, as you always know you can find me on www.strivingyoungprofessionals.com there subscribe to my newsletter I will be sending you quotes and videos so you can stay up with me and you can stay up with striving young professionals and what's going on in that world also stop by my Facebook fan page make sure you like it I need you to stop by that. That's Striving Young Professionals. I have reached 102 likes. I'm moving slow, but I'm moving, and I'm not going to di get discouraged about it. So instead of me finding a fault that I don't have 120 likes, let's be about a remedy. How can you guys help me get to 120 likes, and how can I help you help me get to 120 likes? So I need you, man. If I need to do a jig, I need to dance or whatever, y'all let me know what I need to do because I want to get my likes, man. I'm loving it, and I, and I want it because I want the world to know what's going on. I don't say good day world just because it sounds cute and it's fun, but I say good day world because I believe that this tool is a world ministry, and I think that it's truly going to reach the world. So make sure you do that. Also, you can follow me on Twitter. You follow me, I'll follow you back. I also give shout-outs on Twitter. SY Professionals is my Twitter page, and you can find me on my YouTube channel. You can subscribe to me there. SY Professionals is the YouTube channel. You can either comment, you can like it, and subscribe to me. I prefer that you do all three, but if you can do one of those three, I do appreciate that. So thank you so much. Make sure you stay with me. And as always, I give my shout-outs to everyone who supports me. I love you and thank you so much for it. So my man Neely, thank you so much for stopping by the page. Thank you for liking my Facebook page. My Facebook page. Hey, guys, make sure you like it. All right, uh, Brian, my, my little bro, man, thank you so much. I love you, man. I'm so proud of you. You and Ryan, thank you so much. I love you guys. Thank you for supporting me and believing in me. You don't, you don't know how much you guys encourage me to be better. So thank you, bro. I love you, man. Lorena, business associate, thank you so much. She has a wonderful motivational page. I'm thoroughly enjoying it, and it uh, motivates me and encourages me as well. Also, Jasmine, thank you for your continued support. She is spreading the news. She is sharing the vision with other people, and she is helping me motivate and inspire others. So I thank you for being a motivated, motivating agent and inspiration for others as well. Crystal, CC Chief, thank you so much. Thank you for my Carol City Chiefs uh, supporting me and showing the love. I do appreciate it so very much. Also, my man K-Rock, thank you so much, man, Deuce Club. Make sure you share it with other people out there or up on the hill. Let them know what's going on. I do appreciate it. Richard Wade, another deuce box. Hey, man, I appreciate y'all boys. Thank you so much, man. Make sure y'all spread the love. Also, Dorian, my frat brother, thank you so much. Sometimes you can be all right. I appreciate it, man. Darnell Barton, uh, another brother. We talk a lot of sports. Hey, man, I appreciate it. Make sure you share this with others and let them know what's going on. Lindsay, thank you so much for all of the responses, the support, and the continued support. Thank you, Morgan. My mentee, thank you so much. She's sharing this. And I thank you for being an inspiration agent as well for Striving Young Professionals and Dolisha. She uh, always talking about positive ways to help your body and to live a healthy life. So thank you so much. Also, a big shout out to my girl Jamila. Thank you so much for your support. I do appreciate it very much. And for everyone who is stopping by my YouTube channels and subscribing. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And until the next time, I will see you at the top of your passions. Thank you.